Treehouse Kitchen for another QSOL event. Today we're going to talk about chicken. I'm going to show you guys how to do a very popular way of cooking chicken. It's been around for hundreds of years. It's called spatchcocking. And why do we want to spatchcock a whole chicken? Well, let's quickly just talk about our friend here. So we have our chicken and the chicken is like a big ball. It comes in a bag like this or it's usually like this. When you try and cook a ball, it's really difficult to get underneath cooked. So you end up with a dry breast and undercooked thighs when you roast a chicken. That's why most people rotisserie their chicken. So it's a constant turning. But most of us don't own a rotisserie. So one option you can do, and this is good for any poultry. We can do this with a turkey, we can do this with a duck, so what we want to do is first identify the body, just like a little human. We got our little arms, we got our legs, and we have our breast. What we're going to do is we're going to cut out the backbone of the chicken. This will flatten it out. What you need to do this is a nice, good pair of kitchen shears. You can use a very, very sharp knife to get through there too as well if you have a really good sharp knife. But shears really work the best. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the backbone and I'm just gonna cut right along that bone. You can see it cuts pretty easily most of the time. So now we have one side of the backbone cut and we're just gonna go along the other side. The backbone is a very, very valuable piece of the chicken as you can use it to make your stock. You just cook that down with some onions, celery, carrots, and you have a nice stock. Okay, oh, got a little piece of a kidney. Okay, so now we have the uh, backbone cut out and there's this little thing right in here. It's called the keel. We're just gonna cut that. That'll just help open us up. It's really easy to snip it. Okay, now we're gonna take the bird, we're gonna flip it over, and we're going to push down. And that is gonna open up the bird. So basically what we've done now is we've locked it. Okay, you can turn your legs in. You wanna try and tuck the wings under because they will burn, the tips will burn. And now we have our flat bird. Okay, one thing you wanna make sure that you are doing when you are working with raw chicken is sanitizing every single tool that you touch. You don't wanna to touch anything else after you handled the raw chicken. Now at this point, you can do whatever you want with your bird. You can throw it on the barbecue, you can roast it in the oven, and it's gonna get a nice even heat. If you decide to put it in your oven, I like to go underneath the skin and rub some herbs and butter and salt. That's gonna make a really tender chicken. When I throw it on the barbecue, however, I like to inject it. The barbecue is a very, very high, high, high heat. So if you keep your meat moist through the cooking process, you're gonna have a much better tasting bird. So I'm going to use beer. Beer is a really good injector because it will tenderize. The alcohol will tenderize and you won't have a lot of the beer flavor, although some of you might want to have that. But So I'm just going to take a little bit of beer. I need a fat. That's really important. So I'm going to use olive oil. You notice that when I talked about putting it in the oven, I talked about butter. Olive oil is going to have a much higher smoke point, so it's gonna go a lot farther for a lot longer on your grill. I'm also going to add a little bit of pimenton. Pimenton is just a smoked paprika, and this is gonna give it that nice smoky barbecue flavor. It's also gonna add some spice. You can use garlic, you can use just salt and pepper, but I'm gonna mix that up, and I'm gonna use an injector. I'm gonna pull out these this nice mix, and I'm gonna stick it right into the meat of the bird. And you can see, it will actually push up. 
like I'm inflating a ball. It's really good to do this with the breast because the breast tends to dry out the most. I do this on Thanksgiving with my turkey every year. Or if you're gonna actually smoke it on your smoker, it's really nice to have an injection. All right, so we're gonna lay down our bird breast side down first, okay? And we'll leave this on the grill until we get some nice hash marks, caramelize that skin on the outside. Once we get that going, we'll flip it over and we'll mop it with some barbecue sauce. You can use the barbecue sauce in the beginning, but most of it's just gonna stick to the grill. So you really wanna sear it before you start adding your barbecue sauce. So now we have our finished barbecued chicken. The breast is nice and tender. Our thighs are just gonna pull off really easily. We've doused it with barbecue sauce. And as you can see, what I was talking about earlier where the, the tips of the wings can burn a little bit, that will happen. Now it's time to eat. Thank you for hanging out with us again at the Treehouse Kitchen. We look forward to doing some more videos with you guys.